So let's look at the following example that will deal with the auto cycle. So auto cycle engines are essentially hypothetical or idealized versions of heat engines that follow a reversible cycle known as the auto cycle. Now the auto cycle is depicted in the following diagram where the x-axis is the volume and the y-axis is the pressure. So we begin at position 1 and our gas is compressed adiabatically to position 2. Now when we go from position 2 to position 3 that process is an isovolumetric process and heat flows into our system. When we move from position 3 to position 4, that process is once again an adiabatic process, but now we're expanding our volume. And finally, when we go from position 4 back to position 1, that is an isovolumetric process in which heat flows out of our system as shown by the following arrow. Now, Real engines that follow the auto cycle do not follow it perfectly and cannot reach the efficiency of the auto cycle engine because of things like heat loss, turbulence, and friction. Now suppose the volume of the gas at position 1 is 8 meters cubed and the volume of the gas at position 2 is 2 meters cubed. Using this value, we want to calculate in part A the possible range of the efficiency values for an internal combustion engine containing a monatomic gas. And in part B, we'd like to repeat that step for a diatomic ideal gas. So let's begin with step A or with part A. Now because we're dealing with a monatomic ideal gas, that basically means that the molar specific heat for an isovolumetric process is equal to 3R divided by 2, where R is the universal gas constant. And recall that Cv plus R, the universal gas constant, is equal to Cp, where Cp is simply the molar specific heat when the pressure is constant. So we're going to need to use this in just a moment. Now, Let's begin by recalling the equation for the efficiency of a heat engine that obeys the auto cycle. So the E max is equal to 1 minus the ratio V2 divided by V1 raised to alpha minus 1, where alpha is simply the ratio Cp divided by Cv. So E max is equal to this, where V1 is the volume at position 1 and V2 is the volume at position 2. So first we essentially want to use these two facts to calculate what the alpha is. So alpha minus 1 is equal to Cp divided by Cv, Cv minus 1. Now Cp is equal to Cv plus R. And Cv is simply equal to, well, it's Cv for now. Now we essentially want to replace Cv with R. So Cv is equal to 3R divided by 2. So we replace Cv on top and bottom with 3R divided by 2. And that's exactly what we get. So 3R divided by 2 plus R divided by 3R divided by 2 minus 1. So we combine these terms and we get 5R divided by 3R minus 1. Notice the R's will cancel and we're left with 5 thirds minus 1 and that is equal to 2 thirds. So that implies that alpha minus 1 is equal to 2 thirds for a monatomic ideal gas. So that means the efficiency of the auto cycle engine that has V1 equal to this and V2 equal to this is given by the following value. 1 minus 2 divided by 8 raised to the power of 2 thirds and that gives us approximately 0 0.6. Now, because a real engine that obeys the auto cycle doesn't obey it exactly, doesn't obey it perfectly, that means the efficiency must be less. So that implies the efficiency of a real heat engine that obeys the auto cycle that has the following V1 and V2 values and which contains a monatomic gas 
has to be less than this quantity. Now let's move on to part B. In part B, we want to repeat the process, but now for a diatomic ideal gas. So, CV for a diatomic ideal gas is equal to 5 divided by 2 multiplied by R, while in this case we have 3R divided by 2. Now, this difference, as we spoke of earlier, comes from the equal partition principle for energy. Now, this remains the same. CP is equal to CV plus R. So once again, we want to solve alpha minus R, where alpha is CP divided by CV. So if we follow these same steps, we get the following result. 7 divided by 5 minus 1 gives us 2 divided by 5. So that means alpha minus 1 is 2 divided by 5. Finally, we apply this same equation that will give us the efficiency of a perfect auto cycle engine. So E max is equal to 1 minus the ratio V2 divided by V1 raised to the power alpha minus 1. Now alpha minus 1 is 2 divided by 5 or 0 0.4. Now V2 is 2 and V1 is 8. So this becomes 1 fourth. So that means 1 minus 1 fourth raised to the power of 2 fifths gives us about 0 0.43. So that means for a perfect auto cycle engine, the efficiency is given by this quantity. But because our real engine has to have a quantity less than E max, that means the efficiency of a real engine that contains a diatomic real gas has to be less than this quantity.